Muriel, we know that the letter from Carly Russell's attorney, which was read today, laid plain what Hoover Police Chief Nick Derza said he's known since last week, which Carly's story of a child in distress on the side of an interstate, her sudden abduction, and then seemingly miraculous reappearance at her family's home was all a hoax. And now it is just the latest twist in this week and a half saga, which has captured the nation's attention, but also this community, a community which prayed for her return, but also helped search for her in many cases while walking along the sides of that very interstate. But we now know that Carly never left Hoover, according to her own words. And in that letter, which was issued to the public through her attorney, Carly asked for forgiveness and prayers from the public as she addressed her issues, a nod perhaps to what may have motivated her. One of the many questions still left unanswered tonight, including what happened during those 49 hours she went missing. She made a point to say she was not in a hotel, as was rumored, and she was not with anyone else. She claimed she acted alone. Hoover Police Chief Nick Derzis reacted to the news and was also asked if Carly or even her family could face criminal charges for her made-up story. The sad thing is that, uh, again, there were so many people that, uh, that were involved, uh, took this thing very, very seriously. So right now, you know, and anything's on the table. We're, we, we still don't know what happened in those 49 hours, where she was, did she have any help? We have no idea. Now, the question of criminal charges in this case will lie in the hands of the Jefferson County District Attorney in the Bessemer Division, Lenise Washington. We do know that a meeting between Hoover Police and Carly Russell's attorney is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. Chief Durza said that they will again ask for an opportunity to interview her. Once again, many questions still left to answer. Will they get that chance to talk to her again? They will know tomorrow. We will let you know as soon as we find out. Live here in Hoover, Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340 News.